Hi, my name is Craig Vosbert, and I'm a Senior Vice President of Development within our Accelerator program here at CA Technologies. As businesses and industries continue to be disrupted by a shifting landscape of technology and customer preferences, organizations are looking for ways to leapfrog their competition and get a competitive advantage. Whether that goal is to avoid disruption or be a disruptor in their industry, you must make software development a key focal point for your business. This is particularly important given that software is the primary way that most companies are interfacing with their customers today. Companies that have embraced digital transformation have been able to roll out new applications 33% faster. That means they're one-third quicker than their competition at delivering new, rich experiences that meet the needs of their customers. The companies that we've worked with that see these types of results are those that build a software factory that is highly agile and automated. For your company to begin the journey, you'll need to rethink your development approach to focus on designing, building, and delivering experiences rather than just features. It may sound daunting, but the following three steps are essential to getting started. First, document what you have today. You can't start building something new and improved without knowing what you currently have. So, document everything, including things like, how do ideas get turned into products and services within your organization? Or, what are the interfaces between the stages in your development process? Make sure also to think globally to ensure that the constraints across the entire process are being addressed. Second, design your future factory. This is where you get to envision the ideal state for your future. Given a blank sheet, what would that ideal software factory look like? Don't attempt to do this in a vacuum. You need collaboration from all the disciplines. And throughout this design process, keep your focus on the outcomes that matter to your customers, not internally focused factors. Finally, sequence and integrate the needed changes. With your current and future state laid out, map out the changes needed to bridge the gap between the two different states. Start by looking for the gaps that, when addressed, will yield significant results. This will let you show your stakeholders tangible improvements in throughput, which will help keep momentum and show value to the investment. Now, some changes, like moving your entire organization to Agile, will require one-time, large-scale disruption, while others, such as shifting to DevOps, can be a more gradual and compartmentalized. Keep in mind that the goal of your changes is to drive continuous business improvement and automated information flow within and across the processes on your teams. Like Rome, software factories can't be built in a day. But by documenting what you have today, envisioning and designing your future factory, and then carefully integrating those changes into your business, you can drive the digital transformation success. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to working with you in the future.